so I went ahead and uh, I did something I was trying to do with the scooter for a little bit. I, uh, as you may have seen in the other video, it had this ridiculous strobe kit in it that was, I mean, it was cool if you're like into show stuff, whatever, but I'm not, and it was just over the top. So I went ahead and dug into the scooter to take that stuff out. Let me tell you, the person who put that in, he was the most thorough person I've ever seen install anything because it took me literally four hours to take this scooter apart. I had to strip all the plastics off of it all the way down to the frame the floorboard everything had to come off because he had it all tied like really closely every three inches there was zip ties holding the wires all the way through the framework out the front and the back in order to get it in he also drilled it into the light housing so i had to get rid of it so now the tail you can see is a lot darker now without that strobe without those strobes in place anymore and uh it's, it just looks a lot better it's cleaner now and then also in the front we got rid of them because they were kind of not they were kind of in the way of the of the headlight bulb they were kind of like obscuring some of the the beam that was coming out so that's gone so now we just got headlight and with the upgraded uh bulb the led bulb from cyclops uh it, it's it's a lot better so i can actually see at night now I'm not worried about lighting anymore um and I also, in case you didn't see the other video, we've upgraded the brake. So now we have the big brake on, which is really, really good. Working really well. Um, I'm going to do some V-Box testing now because I want to go ahead and baseline it the way it is right now. I've got some more parts coming for it. And I want to test before we do it. Now, it has this Technigas exhaust on it right now. And as anybody who's anybody knows anything about these bikes, this exhaust is junk. So it's a really cheap, well, let me not say it's junk, it's a cheap exhaust. If you have a, a scooter, it, this, is, this is better than stock, but it's not good for anything more than a sport cylinder or something along those lines, stock 50cc or a sport 70cc upgrade. So I like the way the bike comes out of the hole, it performs pretty decently and it is making about 12 horsepower as it is, but I went ahead and got another exhaust system on the way so i'm going to be trying a yasuni uh city 16 not a c16 i have a c16 i put that on i tried that on first things first it doesn't fit with the center stand so that was the first strike second strike the bottom end was gone it was literally non-existent anymore and you had to completely get it on pipe to get moving at all so the city 16 which is yasuni's um like compliant exhaust sort of whatever you want to call it is a good compromise between the C16 and the um, Yasuni R or, or the lower model pipe. So it should work well with this cylinder. We're going to find out. I'm hoping to get it to come on pipe really quick and hold until about 12,000 RPM or so because that's right where the sweet spot is on this cylinder. This is a Metrikit SP. So with that pipe, we should be able to generate a little bit more power. I'm not asking for much, but you know, any, I, I really don't know if I'm too, too happy with this Technigas setup. So we'll go ahead and throw that. It's a nice quality pipe on it, and we'll see the difference. But first things first, I'm going to go ahead and pull this thing down and do a V-Box acceleration test. We're going to do, for the, for the sake of this scooter, because 60 miles per hour takes too long to get there, we're going to do 0 to 30. So 0 to 30 should be, you know few seconds it's really easy I can do it over here on the side of the, of the of the shop and I don't have to worry about much so we'll do zero to start zero to 30 tests on it and that's gonna give us an idea of how well the CVT is working to get it moving and how much power we're really generating to get us up over that 30 mile an hour hump so let's go ahead get the scooter out and see what it does V box Turn it around right here.
3.4. So 3.3 seconds, that's our 0 to 30 time. That's pretty solid. So we're going to go ahead and try to improve on that. We'll see what the uh, new upgrades and a little bit of adjustment can do. So there you have it. That's our 0 to 30 baseline test. We were able to muster a 3.39 out of it, which is pretty good. I think most scooters struggle to do that under seven or eight seconds. So three seconds, doing that pretty. We're doing pretty good there. On a, a you know 150cc or a GY6 type scooter, they get to 30 about that same speed. I think maybe a little bit slower. But for this, for for a 49cc scooter to do that, you gotta you gotta do some stuff like this to get it to that point. So that's a good start. Let's see if we can get down. I'd like to see under three seconds, honestly. If we can get under three seconds, I think that that's a significant gain and it's gonna show that we're making a lot more power down low. The V-Box is an awesome tool to test that kind of stuff. So if you're doing any kind of acceleration testing or anything like that, consider getting yourself one of those. That's a V-Box Sport. It's a really handy little tool. So the Aerox is off to a good start. Uh, the lighting upgrade was great. As you can see in the video, we could see, finally. So. That's a huge plus, getting that lighting situated and not having to worry about that anymore. But um, long-term plans for this scooter, I'd like to see 70 mile per hour top speeds. Um, again, zero to 30 under four or under three seconds. The just for comparison, <laughs> the drag scooter, which is a 70 cc also, but it's a, in case you haven't seen this full build, it is a real monster. Um, this scooter goes pretty hard um, on motor, not on, not on nitrous, because it is running nitrous. On motor, this scooter 0 to 30s in one second, one point, I think it was 1.3 or 1.5 seconds, I can't remember. But uh, it's, it's pretty, sig it's serious fast. And uh, it's 0 to 60s pretty quick too. So you can check out the videos of that, they're in the archives of this channel and um, stay tuned for more content on this Aerox. But for now, that's a good starting point. The brake feels awesome too, by the way. It's nice to actually have a real responsive brake. The stock brake was real good, it was a Brembo, but this brake just takes it to a different level. It really feels confidence inspiring. So if you're considering doing a four piston caliper upgrade on your scooter, if you have a disc brake scooter to begin with, really should consider it. it makes a big difference really happy with that so more parts on the way let's continue with project aerox and get her to the next level what in the world it smells like a paint shop in here Oh my God, what is this kid doing? What the hell is going on over here? What are you talking about? You guys look sketch balls. How do you think this guy feels? We're painters. You're... <laughs> I come over here, I'm glad that this stuff's out of the car. It should stay out of the car. Yeah, yeah. dude, we're going legit, man. Ooh, I like this. This is just primer, we're going black. Oh, you're gonna go black? Yeah. Okay, it's gonna get hot as hell in here. You think so? Oh yeah, black, come on, with the sun. It's a drag car. You should do gray. What up? Gray's a race car. Gray? Yeah. Gray, and, dude, what do you think of these wheels? Let's see what you got. Video going up, Jay. You fucking me are you? I'll go up after yours. Well, I don't know, you've been uploading really late. Wait, I'm not gonna show it. Ooh. They're not gonna fit. No. I don't. You can't. No, I, I'm. I'm filming right now. I can't show them. I can't. I can't. <laughs> I'm gonna. I'm gonna like. Should I show them the box? Yeah, you show them the box. All right, let me show the box. Ooh, look at that. So anyway, there's some wheels. Rudnick says they're not gonna fit. They're not gonna fit. So this is a waste of time, basically. Uh -huh. What? What? No, we're spray painting. No, no, I know what I'm saying. A waste Dude, of time I getting the wheels. And shit. You what up. is that? How's the boat? That's why I bought it. I bought a fucking hat and everything. To go on your boat? Yeah, I, I almost hat. bought you a hat today. I went out, I saw it at the store, and I was really? like, oh, yeah. I actually bought one today. This so is good. Funny. So when, when are we going out on a boat? I don't know. Whatever, dude. Whatever you want. I mean, how many friends do I have with boats and 
They always take me out on their boats. <laughs> if you want to go on my boat. We can go out. Can I bring like drinks and stuff? Hell yeah. Oh, that'd cooler. be cooler. All right. Yeah, it'd be sick. So we're going to go out on a boat. But in the meantime, this guy's going ham. These guys are going crazy. Yeah. <laughs> Jesus. It looks good so far. Keep it up. I would do gray instead of black. You think so? Yeah. Race car. I'll, I'll have to put that in consideration. We're not painting it tonight. We're just primering it, letting it dry. Okay. And they got the gray at the, at, at the auto zone. You can yeah, get oh, it. Really? Yeah, so you can do it. I mean, I can just return the stuff I got from Home Depot. Okay, okay, yeah. All right, so the Civic's coming along. I'm excited. Along. This is getting light. When's the come? You order it. <laughs> He's like, no more info. <laughs> That's all I got for you guys. That's all I got for you guys.